I've been so many places in my life and time. This is this is enlightenment. This is understanding. See, my, what makes my day good is coming to this understanding about things and realizing things that I don't want and things that I do want and understanding that this is too big or this is too much or I had enough of this or I had enough of that or I can't handle this or I can't handle that because I make those decisions based on what I know I want to happen in my life because I know I want this to happen, this don't fit. But if I don't know what I want, everything fit. You got to understand that this thing is not what it's supposed to be is what it is. So you can't look at me and think that because of what I did is something that you're used to because I don't operate that way. Certain things I don't think about. So I'm saying, man, these people working these jobs and I ain't got no problem with a job. But okay, that's the mentality that it is. If you don't go and make some money, you ain't gonna have nowhere to stay, you ain't gonna have no drawers, you ain't gonna have no clean soap, towels, and all that type of shit. You understand what I'm saying? Every day they wake up, they looking to buy some things. They looking to get money so they can pay their rent. They looking to get money so they can get things. They have no purpose, no direction. They are not even living for anything just to get things until they die. So I'm saying, I don't want to be, they, so they work in a job that they hate, so they're miserable today so they can get some money. Then they spend the money for something that they really want. Then when they get what they want, they want something else. Wait, what is life if you ain't happy? My point is, life is now. I'm not guaranteed tomorrow. So, I hold on, let me finish, let me finish. I'm not guaranteed tomorrow. This minute I'm talking to you right now, this is what we know is true life. So why would I destroy this life by being upset, by being vexed in my spirit, by being uh, jealous, envious, or having strife in my heart when I'm about to kill the essence of life because tomorrow's not promised. So then people don't look at that. They go and they're angry and they have attitudes and they bring up nonsense and they create garbage based on their feeling or their emotions because they have no contact with their spiritual man. They're dealing with their feelings, what they see, uh, their senses, what they taste, what they what sounds that didn't, didn't sound right what you said, what you did didn't look right, uh, uh, that don't feel right. You understand? They're dealing with their emotions. They're not dealing with facts. People every day are making decisions based on their emotions. They don't have facts because they don't have a clear-cut direction of why they're even on this planet, cousin. That's what I'm talking about. Every person I talk to, I mean 99.9% .9 of them, I say, hey man, who are you? Where you going in life and why are you on this planet? They have no idea. They want to get money so they can pay the bills, so they can get this car, so they can get this house. I mean, come on, man. The house, the car, the bills going to be here when you're gone. The bottom line is how you going to serve the time you have because tomorrow's not promised and we I, we, I might be dead tomorrow. So why would I be vexed and upset and tripped out today? Particularly having no direction for tomorrow. It's different if I know what I want to happen tomorrow and I'm doing and planting the seeds today because basically that's life's thing. You can't dispute that. You can say, I don't like gravity. You can jump off the Empire State Building, call Jesus, Buddha, Allah, and understanding that our very essence of life, the breath we breathe is because of the fruits, vegetables, minerals, vitamins, and oxygen. So if I plant an apple seed in the ground where the ground is good and the weather's right, I get apples. So how am I going to plant apples expecting to have oranges? People are bringing other people in their lives. They're connected with people with no purpose or no direction themselves, and they want to tell you what to do. You know what I'm saying? And most of them don't know. They just know what they want now. The point is, what you do is going to determine what you leave. So in my mind, why am I here? A purpose for being on this planet. I'm saying this to you. Everybody knew when Michael Jackson died. Everybody didn't know when Michael Johnson died. Everybody knew when Whitney Houston, hold on, everybody knew when Whitney Houston died. Everybody knew when James Brown died. Everybody knew when uh, 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 Steve Giles died. Everybody knew when Malcolm X died. Everybody knew when Martin Luther King, everybody knew when Nelson Mandela. These people lived for something. Because you still remember them for why they lived. This is my point, cuz.